Watch the complete playlist on the app Pions. Download the app now. Two point charges plus 5 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and plus 20 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. Both are positive charges are separated by a distance of 2 meter. Great. Find the point on the line joining them at which electric field intensity is 0. Electric field is 0. Very common type of question asked in boards. So focus here. I am placing here our first charge. First thing is to draw the diagram. Very important. 5 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. Another one is 20 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. Correct? And here it will be the line joining the two charges. Let's call it as A and let's call it as B. This AB is 2 meters away, right? 2 meters is the gap between A and B. Okay. Now at this point, you have to find a point where the field is zero. I don't know where it must be. So let's assume that this point is point P at which the electric field is zero, cancelling each other. Sir, why it is cancelling at P only? Why can't we cancel it here or here? We will see that within a minute. Okay. Because these points, point uh, C and point D is also along the line joining the two charges only. If you draw the line, it will be along the line only. So why at P you are taking? So see here, if this is positive, the electric field due to a positive charge, radially outward or inward, think about it. Electric field due to a positive charge is radially outward or inward, away from the charge or towards the charge, away from the charge. That is our convention. Now at this point, C, due to the charge at A, it is outward. Now electric field due to B, again outward, away from the charge. Both away, away are adding up. Both are pointing in the same direction, so it can't be zero. Here, due to B, outward. Due to A, also away from the charge, outward. So again, they are adding, they can't be zero over there. At point P, electric field due to A, sir, outward, away from the charge. Due to point, due to charge at B, outward, away from the charge. This is electric field at point P due to A. So EPA, let's call it. Electric field due to B at point P, EPB. I hope this is clear. Now, let's write the magnitudes. Okay, both are pointing in opposite direction. So theta is 180. And if theta is 180, we know that electric field will be subtracted. So net electric field at point P will be equals to EPA minus EPB. Correct? Electric field at point P due to A minus electric field at point P due to B. Now, what is electric field at point P as per the question? Zero. As you can see here, it is zero. If it is zero, let's put it zero here. What is EPA? We will write it. We will find it within a minute. Minus EPB. Let's take EPB on the left hand side. So EPB must be equal to EPA. Even if you start your derivation of this problem here, that is also fine. Logically, if something is cancelling out, if two vectors are cancelling out, then that the only thing that can happen is maybe they both are in opposite direction and same in magnitude. If they are in same in magnitude and opposite in direction, then only they will cancel. No other option. So EPB and EPA, we will put here. So first of all, let me remind you, the electric field formula is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon R square. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is nothing but K. Q is the charge whose electric field you are finding and R is the position of that point from the charge where you are finding the field. So this is our general formula. Let's put here 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. What is our first charge? Sir, first charge is 5, oh, sorry, PB we are finding. So, electric field at P due to B is charge is 20 into 10 to the power minus 19. Sir, but we don't know what is the location of PB. So, let's assume from first charge, the location of point P is X meters. If this is at X, what will be the position here? 2 minus X, obvious it is. Because the total length is 2 meters, that is X. Then this has to be 2 minus X. So, this will be our 2 minus X whole square, be very careful, it's a square, equals to k, which is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q. q is how much here? 5 into 10 raised to minus 19, whole divided by the separation, which is x square. I hope this is clear.
Now, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught straight away cancels. And if you have such confusion, sir, how it got cancelled, take 4 pi epsilon naught on the left hand side. It will go in the numerator, then you can cancel out. 10 to the power minus 19 and 10 to the power minus 19 gets cancelled. Correct. Okay. Then what we will do next? Our next task is 20 upon 5. I am cross multiplying 20 upon 5 equals to 2 minus x whole square whole divided by x square. In case if you have not understood, I took this 2 minus x whole square, this part on the right hand side, it will go in the numerator over here. And I took this 5 on the left hand side, it will go in the denominator because that was in the numerator on the right hand side, right? Now, very common thing which students do, though you can do that, you can do that, okay? But another simple method is, I am not opening this bracket, I am not removing the square. Majority of people, they remove the square, make it quadratic equation, find the solution, fine. But if you are a bio student and you don't know how to find quadratic thing at this stage, then it can be a problematic thing. So we will solve it without using quadratic, okay? So 20 upon 5, that will be our 4 equals to, I'm just writing this whole thing as 2 minus x upon x whole square. Now let's take root on both the sides. Taking here root, it will be 2, which will be equal to 2 minus x upon x. And even when you take the root on the left hand side of 4, you will get another result also. So let's make a space here and write it as minus 2 because minus 2 square is also 4 and plus 2 square is also 4. So when you find the root of 4, you will get plus 2 also and minus 2 also. Correct? So let's get two values of our x. So this will be 2x equals to 2 minus x. Taking x on the left hand side, it will become 3x because 2x plus x will be 3x equal to 2. Our answer is x equal to 2 by 3. So distance of that point where the electric field is 0 from charge A is 2 by 3. What about sir second solution? Let's see if it is consistent or not. So minus 2x equal to 2 minus x. Minus when you take this x on the left hand side, it will become plus and you will get minus 2 plus x which is minus x equal to 2 and x equal to minus 2 which gives you inconsistent result. So our correct answer for this can uh, this particular problem is x equal to 2 by 3. So that is our positive result. The point P should be at a distance of 2 by 3 from the first charge.